Before we get started, I'm going to let y'all know, this is not your normal news organization. It's going to be a whole lot of cussing in this video, so if you easily offended, you might as well skip past it. And to my normal subscribers or people that come to this channel looking for rap stuff or rap news, this ain't even one of them videos. I apologize in advance, but y'all already know how I give it up. Let's get it. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die. What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, Real Talk. You now tuned into Real Talk Media. Got something different to talk about today, boy. I'm sure by now y'all have already seen the video of the little boy that was crying or upset because he was getting bullied at school. His mom took time to record the video and posted it on social media, and it went stupid viral. For those of you who haven't seen it, I'm just going to play a quick little clip. I'm not going to play the whole video, because we got to talk about this. Finding a way to make me do. It's not okay. What did I say to you? They make fun of my nose. They call me ugly. They say I have no friends. What'd they do to you at lunch? Put milk on me and put a hand down my clothes. They're thread at me. Is it just you? Yep. I did clip the video right here in the middle and skip to another part. I ain't one of them corny motherfuckers that be trying to edit it and make you think it says something else. But y'all can look the whole thing up on your own. People that are different don't need to be criticized about it. Tell that to your mama. It's not their fault. All right, so basically, little homie been getting bullied in school. They been calling him names, talking about his nose, calling him stinky, pouring milk on him, putting ham down his shirt and shit. Just basically disrespecting a little dude. And I ain't even gonna lie. When I was younger, I wasn't no bully, but it was certain things I used to do, too. I used to clown you. I'd call you all type of... Y'all already know how we used to do when we was kids. Come on, now. However, to the extent that those kids went, I'm like, bro, it gotta be more to this than what we hearing. You know what I mean? So I didn't even say nothing about it. I sit back, and I wait. And I see on TMZ and on a couple of other places, they done did some um investigating. Now, the little boy's name is Keaton Jones. His mother's name is Kimberly Jones. They done found her Facebook and her Instagram and all types of stuff. And she on there with Confederate flags and with these pro-white, white pride type statements. And if y'all butt hurt, then maybe y'all need to go join the group or leave America. Man, come on now. Y'all already know the types of stuff that she's saying. However, I will say they didn't say she used the N-word on her page. So I can't put that cable out there. But y'all already know you ain't got to use the N-word to be a racist. However... Word came out that the little boy be in school spitting out some racist stuff too, though. Calling the little kids niggers or, I mean, just all types of racist stuff that, you know what I mean? Okay, maybe I say you know what I mean too much, but y'all know what I mean. Fuck out of here. Anyway, so I'm like, well, maybe that kind of would explain why they want to pour ham on you and, I mean, pour milk on you. and I mean, you lucky they ain't punch you in your face. However... Their actions do not justify, you know what I mean? But you shouldn't be in there calling them kids that neither. So neither neither one of the kids are right. However, when if you are going in there and you calling people racist stuff and it's coming from home, obviously because kids aren't born racist, what you want them other kids to do? What they supposed to sit back and take it? No, they're going to slap your ass with some milk. That's what they're going to do. But let's skip past for it. Let's just say his mom not a racist. TMZ and did some more investigating and then found that boy daddy. And his daddy got white pride flags all on his thing. Talk about Aryan pride. Oh my God, I love being proud to be white. Uh, He got white pride tatted on his stomach. He locked up hanging with the ABs and shit. Just all types of stuff. Yo, yeah, Aryan pride. He even got the CWB tattoo. I think it's on his neck. CWB like the crazy white boys. That's like a racist white gang for those that don't know. So... I'm like, his daddy a racist? His mama is a type of racist or racially motivated because I ain't see her use no... In I mean, y'all already know. So if your daddy a racist and your mama a racist and you live with a racist ass, more than likely you a racist too. And you done went to school and said some shit and now you mad because them boys want to smack you and pour milk on you and put ham on you and call... Man, look. Bullying is whack as fuck. But you sitting there wondering why they treating you funny because... Or treating you different and you saying it's not right, but your family treat black people different. People that are different don't need to be criticized about it. Tell that to your mama. It's not their fault. So, no, it don't justify it, but now that you see how it feels to be treated different, 
Maybe you should teach your family not to treat anybody else different because it'll rub off on you. That's just what it is. Let's not talk about homie trying to fly y'all out for the MMA match. Get y'all good seats. Literally pay for y'all. Spend some time with you. Be like your big brother, the big homie or something. And your mother going to say, why don't you just donate something to my PayPal or to my share my GoFundMe? What happened to us white supposed to be sticking together? Now, dude said he not sure if that was 100% her page or if it was a fake page. But it's a good chance it was her page. Because, some man, look, drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm on Instagram at Real Talk Blogger. I'm on Twitter at Real Talk Blogs. Blogs with an S. Man, this shit crazy. I'm out.